people how are you guys doing how has your week been i'm doing well myself i'm just from the gym and i need to quickly prepare breakfast but i have a couple of activities lined up for the day i have a nail appointment i need to go and fix my hair i'll actually have to show up later in the day because my fridge is almost empty and that means i'll also need to stock everything within today because uh, they have to stay fresh and be stocked immediately so let's start with breakfast and see whether we'll be able to do everything For the carbs, I'm going to prepare baked potatoes and pancakes. And for proteins, I'm going to have bacon and beef sausages. And then I'll also uh, prepare African tea or mixed tea. And finally, I'll chop some fruits. I'm seasoning the potatoes using garlic powder, black pepper, onion powder, paprika, and cumin seeds. I'll also add salt. And the extra virgin oil is to ensure that Everything that I'm using sticks to the potatoes. I still recall the first time I saw you. I was so nervous to talk Happened so fast Went from so lonely To falling asleep in your arms I used to be afraid to fall in love My past relationship was a disaster But now I don't care I'm wrapping the oven floor using an aluminium foil paper and then you will also notice that I'll be putting the potatoes facing one side so that after 20 minutes I'll be flipping them to face the other side. I'm roasting them at a temperature, I'll be roasting them at a temperature of 220 degrees for 20 minutes. Your smell wrapped in my bed sheets. Don't wanna wash it away. I know sometimes I get too caught up in all of the wrong things, but you're always there to guide me. I yeah. used to be afraid to fall in love. A past relationship. A disaster, but now I don't care. Cause you took my scars, bruises, and as the potatoes back, I'm going to prepare pancakes. And all the pain. Show me how to heal, and now I don't. Something's off the way you look and how you pause when you talk. I think you said enough. You said you love for me something brand new. You said this is something you would never do. Here we are in the car. Let me see who you are, who you really are. are yeah. Don't need you here to say you're sorry.
Let's be honest for a second. Yeah, you'll be in over your head, babe. Cause there is no one other than me that can make you feel the way you feel when I hold you. I think I said enough.
Just a minute, been looking for some help just to find myself. Yeah, been losing my focus like a thousand times before. Can't take this anymore. Cause I've been looking for something to change thoughts into motion. Been waiting way too long. Oh, yeah, waiting just for somebody to love and to surround me and to handle my emotions. I was out waiting for something. And if I come. This was one of the very few times where I go to the salon when almost actually all my nails were still intact. Most of the time I go when at least one or even two nails are broken, but this time this one was one of the few times. So for for my toenails I did white and then for my pedi I did wild under your feet. It was a very good pedi pedicure. And then for my ant nails, I went for green. I'm not so good at, at experimenting nails, colors, art, and stuff. I just love it simple. And then for once for my hair, I went for something that took a very short time. You're gonna see it in a few. to be done and the hair was done by only one person like it took about 50 minutes to one hour and that was so fast i really hate days when i go to the salon and stay for a very long time like my ideal salon and nail day is where i'm going into a place i'm seated down someone is working on my hair let's say one or two people if it's a complicated hairstyle another one is attaching another one is finishing and that takes a very short time another one is working on my money Another one is working on my toenails and that takes a very short time. Like within four hours I'm done and I'm gone to do other activities. Because let's just be honest. If I do these things separately, 
let's say hair alone a complicated hairstyle can take about four to five hours and if we talk about um the nails acrylics takes around three hours toenails takes around two hours so if you combine everything it comes to around five hours that's a very long time that's quite a very long time to just do one thing within a day let's assume even that i'm not going to be that busy. it's not about being busy sitting down for all those hours it's quite tiring so i wouldn't wish to have such kind of a day actually the thought of just sitting in the salon for a very lo long day or a long time makes uh, takes away the joy of i'm going to have a new set i'm going to have fresh hair set from me and i'll just be thinking about oh god i'm going to stay in the salon for like a very long time and that just makes me tired before i even start so but anyway maybe i'm even planning to explore wigs because i've never been a big girl so i'm going to explore wigs so that it can really take uh, maybe i'll take a very long time before i go back to the salon it will reduce the salon runs but i think the reason as to why i tend to find it so difficult it's because i always do almost everything with, around the same time like time nothing in annually that's when my nails needs to be done that's when my toenails needs to be done as well but um we're just gonna explore wigs and see maybe it will reduce my uh frequent going to, into the salon again so about every two weeks or three weeks i'm back there but yeah so let me go i'm going to do a bit of cleaning and then i'll be going to show so let me go I need to clean the fridge together with the fruit truck before I go shopping so that when I'll be coming back, they will all be ready for restock. So I normally get to clean the fridge anytime I do a massive restock. Like I tend to shop my things around almost the same time. I need to shop almost everything from meat to groceries to fruits. Everything needs to be shopped because they're almost out of stock. So yesterday I had to switch off power uh, to the fridge so that it can completely thaw. So right now I just want to clean it up. And then when I'll be coming back, we will just be restocking. So you kissed a girl just cause you wanted to.
I use Dr. Beckman microwave and fridge cleaner to spray it all through. It has a very nice smell and it is also a disinfectant. And then at this point, I'm going in with soapy water to wipe it again. And then I'll thoroughly rinse it off. You actually don't need to go in with soapy water if the fridge wasn't that dirty. But if the fridge hasn't been washed for a very long time, it is important that you go in again with soapy water and then just ensure that you thoroughly rinse it off just to ensure that you don't leave any soap in there. Oh my love You're such a fragile thing I know And with the winter comes the ice, the snow But I'm here at all And oh my love About the cold just yet. The trees haven't started to shed. Just feel the summer sun as it warms our bed.
myself on my spin a while now since I saw you, but it feels like yesterday somehow. Time has stopped, nothing's changed. We're the same, and we skip the small talk, cause you know me, yeah, you know me like nobody else. I'm now done with that so I'll just let them hair dry and then I'll go to shop so in case they come back and they're not completely dry I'll just wipe them up and then we stock up Honestly, I always go there and I end up coming with things that I didn't plan sometimes. But I've just shopped a few extra extra things that were almost out of stock or some which were supposed to be stocked maybe in a week or two weeks time. I was actually just going to stock for the fridge, but we've done what we've done. So I've not been able to get meat from KMC because by the time we were done shopping, KMC had already closed. Something else that I haven't gotten is um, groceries that I get them directly from Soko like onions tomatoes and a few other groceries that I always shop them directly from soko so i'm going to do that tomorrow as well so let me just show you what i got and then we will be washing the fruits wipe the cans and then stock the fridge with what we have right now so let's see so with me i have red apples i have blueberries seedless apples over here i have streaky bacon together with cola bacon I also have Sprite Coca-Cola and Ginger Ale. Over here I have Bio Yogurt, different flavors, peach, strawberry, natural plain, and tropical mix. I also have uh, sweetened Maziwa Mala, ginger, lemon cookies for Java, tea biscuits for Yego Mari. I have Palji Glucose Biscuits. Over here I have chocolates, brown dark chocolate and mint with mint i have palbasmati rice naivas all bread all meal bread and also another one that is sweetened bread i have santa maria virgin oil white vinegar water 10 liters carrying it hills of africa soft petrol hand wash i have premium tissue here for anan a mistake was done over here i was supposed to take tissue towel but i ended up picking uh four small tissues and then serviettes and then serviettes and isinia eggs i want to remove everything that's not going to the fridge and organize them elsewhere or in their respective places and then i'll sanitize the surface and prepare everything that will be going to the fridge so something else that i want to do right now is to attach the grocery rack and then i'll also be returning all the uh, of course fridge shelves so that i can create a workspace there for me to quickly wash the fruits and wipe the cans as well so let's quickly do this Have a garden, our line. 
is crossed. We're wasting time with stuff that doesn't really matter. While wishing for something better, I try to fix things that weren't broken. Misunderstandings and words unspoken. We fall apart, and I won't dare to say. I'm going to wash the fruits and wipe the cans. So for the large fruits, I'm going to use this solution. It's called Cherbi Organic Fruits and Veggie Wash Solution. And then for the berries, I'm going to pour this baking soda in water and wash them. On wiping the cans, I'm just going to use a rag from water that has vinegar. For the uh, berries again, I'm going to use this container together with its strainer. I got it from Kenya Square. For the large fruits, I'm going to improvise this one. Like a strainer kind of a thing and this basin so let's wash hold up just a minute been looking for some help just to find myself yeah been losing my focus like a thousand times before Can't take this anymore Cause I've been looking for something To change thoughts into motion Been waiting way too long oh, Yeah, waiting just for somebody To love and to surround me And to handle my emotions I was out waiting for some Close my eyes, it's all been a waste of time I was out driving every mile And now if I've been wild It's all been a waste of time It's all been a waste of time How could somebody be with someone else if you can't be by yourself yeah. I got my problems lately I've been fading out holding out waiting just for somebody to love and to surround me and to handle my emotions I was out waiting for something Close my eyes
It's time for me to organize the fruits together with the canned drinks into the these containers over here and then we put them in the fridge. So with me I have different types of containers. There's this small one that can be used to organize maybe tiny uh, of course berries or grapes and very tiny vegetables. There's another one over here, big ones that can be used to organize fruits. This type over here, I use it to organize canned drinks. And then this type as well can be used to organize the canned drinks or even yogurt. So I got this type that looks like it's plastic. And this one down here from China Square. This type that is acrylic-like, I got it from uh, through Beatrice, the personal shopper. She got them from Kamukunji. And then these ones over here are also from China Square. I really like this type of containers because they have this white thing over here that separates any water that may accumulate and that prevents the water from coming into contact with fruits or veggies at any point. So let me quickly organize them and then we put them into the fridge. Was an So we're going for a fun activity with the family. Last week we went to Kereita, the forest KE, and we did a couple of activities there. So if you didn't watch the video, please go and watch because there was a lot and lot of fun uh, in that video. So today we're going somewhere else. I'm going to take you guys with us. So apart from the activity, I'm going to show you any other thing that we are going to do. It's so hot, so we're hoping that by the time that we get there, it will be a bit a bit cool or that location will be a bit cooler than here because hey, I don't need that my chance of sweat so let me go I'm gonna take you guys with me <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
have arrived. We are at Westling Moran at the river and we are ready for go karting. Let's go. Go karting was so fun. They charge between two thousand to six thousand, depending with the go kart that you take, and also the time that you want to take while doing the activity. The location is called Whistling Moran, not Whistling Moran, like I said earlier. And we finished our day by going for dinner at CJ's. Sometimes I get too caught up in 